My name is Jalen Williams and I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida. So in fourth grade, my friend, he convinced me to do dance. I didn't really get serious with dance until going into high school because I had the decision of playing football and going to school for dance. So I didn't know which one I wanted to do, go to private school or stay in public school and stay in the arts. So I tried out dance for about another year after ninth grade and I liked it. So I stayed in it all through high school. I wanna say I really wanted to make dance like a nice career around, yeah, junior year going into senior year. First, I was really embarrassed about it, but then I just kind of got used to it. People knew me as a dancer. Not everybody really knew too much, but just like the people who I was really around. It took my mom a minute to like really embrace me doing dance. Cause yeah. like, at one point she was like, oh, this is probably just like a phase. Like this is just a phase that he's doing. Once she saw like how it was like changing my life and it helped me not like really get in trouble and stuff like that. She saw that, well, at least he's not like out running the streets. I know where he is. He's at the dance studio. Like, everybody that I knew that went to the same school as me, they were playing on the football team. And I was like, dang, that was supposed to be me out there. But I actually end up liking what I do now, as you can see, because I'm still here dancing. <laughs> I love ballet. That is what I want to do. So one of the things that I really think about every day before I dance is just what can I, like, what can I give today? Like, what is it? If I'm off my leg, then I guess I'll just try to give some extension or some flexibility. Just try to think of something new and not try to be hard on myself so that way I can just keep progressing and just keep looking towards the goal that I want to be. I got like a good base emphasis of both ballet and modern when I was in high school. And I really liked ballet because it was challenging to the body. Honestly, I really like want to pursue it as a career in a professional ballet company because like there's not many of people of my skin color that are like principal dancers and soloists and stuff like that that you see in companies. Doesn't necessarily mean I want to be in like San Francisco Ballet, ABT, or like Dance Theater of Harlem or something. I want to be somewhere where they want me for me. Dreads, skin color, age, the way I talk, the way I dress, everything. Like I like my hair to represent me and not just because it's like, oh, that's the classical look or that's a specific look. I just want my hair to represent me and let my dancing and my performance represent what I'm putting on the stage and not just let one thing about me be wrong or just not in the time being or something like that. interesting process especially just like not really including the girls because like all the girls they were phenomenal from like freshman to senior but I was like the youngest guy in the group of guys that we had and everybody else were all upperclassmen so I feel like I had to step up a little bit mm -hmm. and try to like get on their level mm -hmm. in his piece because since I was the young guy and things like that and it was good that throughout the process, Eloy, he pushed me a lot, which was great, because he would tell me sometimes it looked like I didn't care or I wasn't in it. So I had to like find ways to fully invest myself within the piece. Well, he's just very um, into what he does. He loves it so much. And you can see when he dances that he loves it. And uh, I think he goes for things without any fear. Um, and I think that enables him to to reach new heights. You know, we, we see him do, you know, uh, really impressive uh, leaps and, you know, turns and things that I think uh, 
um, people sometimes are afraid to go for and he just goes for it. Wild abandon, so. What makes you unique? You know, I, one thing that makes me unique is my skin color. You know, there are you know, not a lot of um, black men in ballet for the most part. So it's almost an, an anomaly, but one of the biggest things that's um, difficult on the day-to-day -day is that people remind you that you're not white and people will remind you that you're not black by subtle things, you know, they'll touch your hair or they'll make a comment or whatever it may be. Um, and even though it's, you know, yes, it's just a part of who I am, um, it's offensive to be reminded constantly of it, so. How do you feel like you, you keep it real on stage? Um, <laughs> keeping it real. Wow, that, that one right there. Um, I learned that probably in high school. My teacher, she is probably one of the realest people that I know. She told me, if you're not being real with the audience, then it's like you're up there just doing steps. You are telling a story about what you're dancing about or who you are. You make your own character or the teacher, they give you a character and you build off of it. Yes, okay. Like, I just, my friend, he told me these wise words that I've always followed every day. Just do me and be me. And that's what I am. Like, everybody that I talk to, everybody who meets me, they just get the full me. This is just Jalen mm. or Jay. That's Jalen Williams. So, that's just me, I guess. Like, I could say Calvin and Maggie, they've been pretty good support. Like, I love talking to Calvin. Calvin, he's like, cool, funny guy. Like, we have things in common. Like, we both like to, we both like to shop, or as he say, he used to shop. <laughs> <laughs>